This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now, and here's a look at what's happening now. Right now in the state of Nebraska, there are 145 confirmed cases of coronavirus. Of those cases, 75 are in Douglas County. There have been two deaths in the state. The Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department announced two more cases. One of those is an older child. In Iowa, two more people have died from coronavirus, and the state saw dozens of new cases. Two elderly adults died Sunday night. On Monday, the state announced 88 additional ca confirmed cases. They come from 23 different counties. In our area, Shelby, Crawford, and Monona counties reported new cases. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeffman with this latest weather update. Again, even though we had some sunshine, a high of 70 today, clouds are rolling back in again, and we do have some rain chances, mainly to the west of the Omaha metro area. Again, some spotty activity popping up. I think generally most of us will stay on the dry side. Winds will, however, kick in a little bit more east, about 10 to 20 miles an hour, which will help to hold those morning low temperatures up. So we're going to start the day off on Tuesday with 44 degrees. Once we start heading into the rest of the evening, you can see the showers back to the west of us again. Majority of eastern Nebraska, western Iowa remaining dry for tonight and even tomorrow morning. No issues for the commute if you are Still not working from home and you still need to go into the office. Well, we are looking at upper 30s over parts of western Iowa. Again, clouds act kind of like a blanket, so that holds those morning low temperatures up in the mid 40s. Even late in the afternoon, we still might keep a few clouds around, but we'll manage to warm it up in the low to even mid 60s. Slightly cooler than today since we've had a little weak system passing through. And overall, it looks like mostly a dry day for us on Tuesday. Same thing on Wednesday, but those winds really start to pick up from the south, so we get up to 70 degrees. Cool it off a little bit more on Thursday, and that's because we have rain chances, another system moving in. More widely scattered, I would say, as we go through the afternoon and evening hours, and especially overnight going into Friday morning. That's when I think we could see a combination, yes, rain and some snow in the forecast here. We'll continue to keep kind of watching this and fine-tuning the update on the overall amounts or on rain and also on the snow totals, but it will be a much cooler day. So we're going to go from 63 down to 46. Weekend, we start recovering up to 52 for Saturday. Keep a few clouds around. Sunday you might see an isolated shower popping up, but it looks like the majority of the area should stay on the dry side. Stuck at home? We've got you covered. My pizzas are baked to perfection in a 450 degree oven. Hands free after bake. From oven to box to your door. Call me, Godfather's Pizza. Do it.